welcome to a different type of video. I, I guess it's a collection video. I generally, I've been out of the singles buying game lately. I've been really just focused on buying boxes for the channel, getting content out, and uh, not really focusing on my collection per se. Uh, really just whatever I pull is into my collection. I really been trying to trade for a collection type of stuff, but really uh, mail day videos as you've seen has been sparse. Um, so generally I haven't been in the singles buying game. This one popped up on eBay. I made an offer, I got it. And uh, I figured this is a perfect time to show off my Marion Gabrick collection because before Krill Kaprizov, before Matt Boldy, Marco Rossi, there was a Marion Gabrick, and that was my first real big Minnesota Wild PC. Obviously, is the first draft pick for the Wild, and uh, so I'm gonna show off my PC. Present them. Which pretty much hasn't been added much to it since um, his, I pretty much, uh, since I got out of collecting which is around 2003, I think. We'll see in the cards. I might have gotten some uh, cards after 2003 um, in this you know, singles buying game, but not too much. Anyways, I'm talking too much. I got this card, I had to get it. So let's open it up and see what it is. Pull it out from the bottom. Marion Gabrick. It's an acetate young gun, Marion Gabrick. You've come. I have. And uh, since I saw this one, it is truly a rookie year picture because he's number 82 in this uh, in the wild. He only played a couple games uh, under the number 82 for his birth year, switched back to 10. He was started at 10, started at 10, switched to 82 mid season. Not a lot of people know this uh, was number 10. Mitch switched mid-season to 82, played a couple games, did not play well, switched back to 10, and he was forever number 10 on the Minnesota Wild. One of the reasons I am number 10 whenever I can play hockey, I choose number 10, and uh, Marion Gabrick is a big reason why, um, but this is a truly a rookie season picture, is one of the coolest cars I had to get one. And uh, yeah, I can't believe this is in front of me. And it's a gorgeous looking card. Acetate Young Gun, Marion Gabrick. <sighs> gorgeous. And so that gives me a reason to pull out my Marion Gabrick collection. Like I said, hasn't really been added too much in over the years. But back when I started collecting, was in heavy collecting cards. Marion Gabrick was my first Minnesota Wild PC because he was the first rookie and he was a Slovakian. And man, I was just enamored with him. He was great, speedy. He was my type of player. And so I went basically balls deep into collecting him. Uh, my friend Ryan would attest to that. So I have a couple cards here that I could not give sleeves to, uh, top loaders to. So I have them in sleeves. This is a Authentic double-sided game-worn jersey from 2002 uh, uh, Private Stock Pacific Titanium. Uh, green swatch on the back is Emmanuel Fernandez. Green swatch. Basic jersey swatch, but... All 20. Get as high as possible. One of the few jersey swatch uh, cards that I have of Marion Gabrick. This one's a Fabric of the Future jersey from Young Stars, uh, Bowman. Authentic game-worn jersey right there. Green swatch again, but uh, yeah, look at that background. Looks like it came from Hollywood Video. At Hollywood Video. And then this one is a little thicker. I don't know why I have a top loader that doesn't fit it, but it's a Bowman Young Stars right there. Still, yeah, number 10. A lot of these will be number 10. I think there's only one other card in here where he's number 82. Nine! It's crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, there it is. His brother, Branislav Brano Gabrick is a wild scout. Well, thanks for that extra special glimpse into our life. All right, and then we'll go down this stack first. 
to be honest. I don't know where in these stacks. I, I gave all these cards top loaders because they were in my old school binder for a long time. I should have probably rescued them a long time ago. But uh, we got a upper deck vintage Marion Gabrick. Obviously, they're all going to be Mary Gabbard. I can't say that. I won't say that too much. But this is a 2001-2002 Upper Deck Vintage. Biting my tongue saying that. I don't know why. Tops Heritage, Mary and Gabbard. Are you sure? I'm... All right. I have to stop saying that right now. Anyways, Tops Heritage. This is uh, from... 2001 2002 tops heritage uh so this is his second year card and coming up is his only other card that is numbered 82 false that i know of there's probably more out there i just not that knowledgeable now in gabby but uh this one is number 82 so it's a rookie year picture and uh be a player memorabilia 2000 2001 so this is a rookie card obviously rookie year picture this is a might be even be preseason he might have done that in preseason he was started at 10 he played i know he started at 10 and then he was number 82 maybe played a couple games in nhl and then changed back to 10 this be a player in uh 2001 2002 be a player right there You'll see this card again uh, later on. It's a uh, auto, like a card show, like a card show stamped uh, numbered out of that. We got a Tops Own the Game rookie points. And uh, I didn't know this until last night when I was putting the top loaders on. But look at that. It is got a little bit of green at the top. Classic upper deck. Classic upper deck, you clowns. You suck! We got OPG Retro, Mary. OPG right there. And uh, that is from 2001, 2002. It's the retro version. I love that card. It looks cool. Um, and then this is a Vanguard 2002, 2003. Yeah. No, 2001, two, no, 2002, 2003. Uh, Vanguard. And I think I have another one of these versions that's... Uh, really shittily stamped it was like a draft stamp i don't know i bought a lot of weird stuff when i was young uh we got a heads up prime picks and that is 2001 2002 heads up second year these are really cool tops gold label class two and this is actually numbered out of 666 Number 30 out of 666. If you're 555, five, five, that up. Six, six, six. And uh, this is uh, 2001 2002. Yeah, see here. Marion, blessed with great skill, also shows the fickleness of youth. After beginning his rookie season at the jersey number 10, he abruptly switched to 82 the year he is born, only to go back to number 10. Fucking card has it right here. That's right. I knew it. Well, let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet. Gold label. And then gold label class three. And this is uh, numbered out of 333. Three, three. It's uh, 307. Same story. Love it. Thank you. Tops gold label. We got break the breaking the glass. Uh, we got a heads up 2002, 2003. Breaking the glass. Marion Gabbard. <gasps> Heads up, 2002. And this is a premier date. 62 out of 105. So, only 105 versions of these. And look how gorgeous this card is. Gorgeous. We got a 2001 Pacific Private Stock Titanium. And this is also pri uh, premier date, 44 out of 94. April 3rd, 2002. Boom, boom, boom. And this is a... Top Stadium Club Gallery. Looks painted. 
wore two different numbers during his rookie season. Oh, and I get it! That was like his one story after his rookie season. So SP Authentic Future Grades, Marion Gap. Thanks, Captain Obvious. 2903 out of 3500. So super rare. We got a fabulous firsts, pros and prospects. Sorry about the glare here. I'm just saying. We got fabulous first, pros and prospects, 97 one, 971 out of 1000. Fabulous first, pros and prospects. This is one of my favorite designs and uh, it looks very cheesy, but one of my favorite designs. I love movies, so it works for me. Uh, this is a 2001 Pacific Crown Royal, now playing and uh just designed to look like a movie poster from the 2000s i mean it it's obviously cheesy looking but i love it um surprised they don't have the picture of it uh of talking about his jersey switch i've talked about it too much already top shelf and this is uh 2001 2002 top shelf marion gabrick of course i'm gonna say that a couple times parkhurst and this is a 385 out of 500 2001 2002 Parkhurst we got a top reserve some ice on his side 2001 2002 tops reserve this first stack is huge we got a 2001 uh, private stock. Look at that fancy ass 2000s font. Yeah, very cool. SP Authentic Base. This is a 2001 2002. So it's not his future watch, which I actually don't have. Which is, you know, some of those cars I actually. I couldn't afford. I got a lot of the easy cards to get and some of the weird ones. Um, but this one, a this one is a challenge for the cup. And that's a 2000, 2002, 2003 challenge for the cup. And here is that uh, 2002 Vanguard poorly stamped. It's like, uh, I don't, can you see it there? It's supposed to be a draft stamp or something. And it just got really poorly stamped. And so uh, I think it was just some dude ripping me off on eBay. Really. And then uh, there's this Sports Fest Chicago 2002. 8 out of 10. And uh, it's the blue version. I don't know much about these. But I'm sure there's like card show cards out there. And uh, this is 8 out of 10. Marion Gabrick. Very cool. This is 2001, 2002. Like I said, you see this one a little bit later. And that's a card show one. And then this is another card show, uh, Chicago 2002, 23rd National, 9 out of 10, first edition, rare. And that's 2002, 2003, because it was the 2002 National. We got a Prism Gold 2002. It had its own set. Not numbered or anything, that is McDonald's, as Ziri would say. McDonald's, it's McDonald's out here in California. So, uh, 2001, but it is, a guy, I guess, in Canada, so it'd be McDonald's or whatever Ziri would say. Anyways, this is the end of the first stack. 2001 Private Stock Titanium, three-star selection out of 750, 223 out of 750. Right there, numbered. Not bad, but highly numbered. Let's move on. We got a uh, Vanguard 2001 high voltage. And actually I have a uh, variant, like a red variant coming up later that's numbered. This is the base, I believe. And this is actually the first Marion Gabbert card I ever owned. So I always remember this as my first, uh, like the K PC Kickstarter. Uh, the Future Heroes, Marion Gabrick. And it's so, so funny, they put 
these stars ab- against him and his speed, which is outstanding, only got four out of five stars. What the fuck? I guess his defense should have been three out of five or something like that. Passing maybe a little bit, eh, four out of five. But his shooting, yes, five out of five. Skating, five out of five. And speed, five out of five. Five out of five. And injury, one out of five. All right, and we got a 2001-2002 Upper Deck Mask Collection. This is gold, 43 out of 50. One of the lowest numbered cards I have of him. Um, So, yeah, very cool. This is a 2001 Calder Collection and 2001 All-Star Game, prone to a lot of edges, so I don't definitely... Uh, is numbered 663 out of 2001. I wonder how they got that number. All right, and then we got a Atomic 2002 die cut. One of the cooler designs, in my opinion, out there. And uh, not numbered or anything, but it's a little thicker. And uh, one of the cooler base cards, in my opinion. Here's that high voltage parallel out of 299, 251. And I think it's the red parallel. That's what they call that one. And it's out of 299. In focus from Vanguard 2001. Not numbered. Parkhurst. 50 year, uh, 50th year. Oh, number 82. I guess I got my face for knowing, thinking there was only two in here. But maybe now I got three. Maybe I'm going to just hold my comments for now, but there could be more. But they're Parkers right there. Not numbered or anything, but still very cool. I think this is a rookie year, though. Yeah, this is a rookie year, obviously. We got a Premier Plus rookie card right there. Oh, it looks off center, and I think it is like off miscut. Yeah, definitely miscut. It looks super off cut. Yeah, Upper Deck, man, killing it. Killing it on the miscuts. We got Upper Deck Vintage Future Prospects. Very cool. Little... At the time, I didn't really care uh, about uh, the wear and tear as much as I do now. I was a dumbass kid. So some of these cards are a little bent up. There's one that has some really shitty damage and makes me sad. But this is a Top Stadium Club rookie card. 2000 NHL draft pick. This is one of his first games for sure. But not the 82. Superstars. Private Stock Reserve 2002. Very cool. With the gold foil. Very cool card. I love that design. It's a little rough on the front because the surface would be really tough because it is definitely like a sparkle kind of uh, glitter sometimes. But, you know, if you have it in a top loader and never pull it out, you don't fondle it all the time. It'll be fine. We got a now appearing pros and prospects. One of the cooler inserts that I thought at the time, it looks like he's in a cave, but also has that rainbow effect in the back and uh, the now appearing is kind of teal ish i guess yeah i was an idiot back then and i think it looks cool now tops premier plus premier rookies there man this video is going long so we need to hurry up this is one of the cards i actually picked up uh just recently recently within the past couple years that i started collecting again this is the only one i have a king's one which i try to block out his time in the kings even though he won the cup and i'm happy for him then i just don't i just think of gabby is always a wild player i don't like him on the rangers either or the blue jackets (laughs) it's just wild man i like that him but I, i like that part of him only playing on the wild but Uh, I do have a couple outside his wild uh, playing days. And this is a double jersey, 39 out of 99 black lustrous ink with the gold ink auto right there. A thicker card. And we're going to keep moving along. All right, this is Upper Deck Vintage Minnesota Checklist. He's on the front. Nobody cares about that one. We got a Topps Heritage New Traditions. That's his uh, 
not a rookie card. So not rookie year, Topps Heritage. Upper Deck Vintage, this is team leaders. He was the Golds leader, and that's it. This is a rookie Topps Chrome card, and uh, not the refractor or anything like that. That would be awesome, but it is numbered. This one is numbered 0758 out of 1250, and uh, yeah, Topps Chrome right there, rookie card, numbered. This is his Black Diamond Precious Gems rookie card is 830 out of 1999 1999 so rare super short printed this is UD ice prime performers rookie card uh, this all came in one box you can buy or like in one set box that you would purchase it was I believe uh, the rookie update set which is a uh, SPX black diamond and ice was all in there you would get three in the pack you would get one card from each set and then uh so there is rookies and so it was just what if you got gabrick in that one or it, what you, you know set you would get so i did get one from each one black diamond like i said out of 1999 we got spx this is three three five out of 1500 and this is UD ice 1343 out of 1500 prime performers acetate all right and then we got a UD reserve reserve rookies no numbers top stars rookie that uh, silver foil was definite prone to surface wear. Uh, 2001 Crown Royale, 20th, 20th, 21st century rookie. Right there. Not bad. Big, the big ticket from UD Reserve. Designed to look like a ticket. From a parking meter from a parking machine, I guess, I don't know. We got a Pacific 2002 base. All right, getting into the autograph cards that I had back when Minnesota Wild autograph cards. So this is a Premier Plus private signings on card auto right there. And I think all of these are on card to be honest. Um, we got Premier Plus private signings one of my favorite cards actually to be honest is just this one i love the design of it i love the green in the background and yeah on card and the authentic auto right there very very cool this is a 2001 signature series first signature card so this is a rookie rookie auto of Marion Gabrick signature series. We got a Topps Heritage certified autographed issue, and he actually did sign this. It just it looks very vintage, but he signs the side number ten, and uh, there's the auto, uh, certified auto sticker right there. We got a Premier Collections Premier Signatures on card auto, and uh, this is from. 2002, 2003, and uh, this trading card was sent to Upper Deck directly from Marion Gabrick. Cool, and it's on card, so I know he actually touched it. And then this one I actually picked up just recently from a comic. I just I liked it; it looked cool. It's on on card auto, keeping the vibe, and it's Marion Gabrick Chronology 1920. Yeah, now they change it. It's like received a card personally autographed by Marion Gabrick. It was sent to Upper Deck directly from Marion Gabrick. This certificate expressly, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then this one, they keep that, but it's like uh, in the presence of an uh, representative. We know he touched it, but seriously, why did they change that? I mean, I guess to save their asses. We got a sign of the times SP authentic, and this is 
2001, 2002. And uh, yeah, again. Yeah, sent to us directly from Marion Gabrick. On card auto, sign of the times. And then this is, uh, besides, there's the retail and the hobby version of this card. And uh, you've probably seen it a lot already just sitting there. It's very easy to spot. It's very shiny. But it is his retail 2001 private stock titanium rookie card. Serial numbered 72 out of 199. Um, the only more... I guess more valuable rookie card out there is his hobby version, which is only out of 99. Looks just like this. Him and Mike Comrie were just freaking up the charts back then. I ended up buying this for like $100 back when I was maybe like 13, which was crazy then. Um, But I bought this for $100. Not worth it now, but still worth it in my heart. That's why it's in a... A uh, one touch, which I actually never opened. So that is my Marion Gabriel collection. I know I didn't rip any bowls all through it. I just wanted to go through the collection and I just wanted to celebrate this acetate young gun that I picked up. One of my just, I love this card. This is really cool, really cool. And I just didn't think I would get one ripping, uh, you know, all the boxes I did rip of 21, 22 series two i still didn't get any of these and uh, i just went out and got one when i saw the price it was a good deal sent the offer he accepted and uh yeah here it is so let me know what you thought of this marion gabrick collection from my yesteryears when i was in my youth of collection collecting the first wild pc um but yeah let me know what you thought of this video smash like down below hit subscribe and thank you for supporting the channel and uh, leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, leaving comments. I try to respond to them and I definitely will respond to you as, as quick as possible. Um, if not, I do try to get the thumbs up in the heart. So thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, I do read all, every comment. So um, thank you for watching. And remember, happy tokes with your smokes and safe ripping. We'll see you. Later.